today is my sister's birthday. Yay! And I am in Nashville. Oh, look, Wesley's here too. Yay! And we are now performing an Opryland Hotel hack. <laughs> We're gonna go eat at the Opryland Hotel. You have to pay $15 to park over there. <laughs> But the Opryland Mall is over there and the parking's free. So we're just walking in. Opryland hack. I hope nobody from Opryland sees this because it might change things. Come check out the hotel with us. It's beautiful. Oh, and just like that, we're in. Now this hotel is a historic hotel. It's huge beautifully themed as you're gonna see there is no longer any opry land there's only an opry land hotel but we used to come to opry land yes we did quite a bit some of my first theme park memories and we didn't really ride the rides we just went to the shows <laughs> we, we just went and ate and went to the shows sounds right that sounds right so we're back and we're gonna eat <laughs> for Christmas by Thanksgiving. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere in the at the Opryland Hotel Christmas comes in October? Because it has to because they hang these ornaments that are bigger than us. Maybe we'll see some Christmas stuff inside. Yeah. That's crazy. Maybe they left it up from last year. <laughs> <laughs> And we are in. So the Opryland Hotel is famous for this beautifully themed garden, riverboat, fountains, waterfalls. It is gorgeous in here. It's a big atrium that's covered and it smells like Pirates of the Caribbean in here. It's amazing. Okay, they got some Halloween going on. The classic Universal Monsters on the pumpkins there. I kind of like this guy the best. The creature from the Black Lagoon. All right, lunch is by the waterfall. Look at that. Beautiful. This is inside a hotel. We are inside. This is inside a hotel. It's so cool. There's a little New Orleans. We got some country music pumpkins. We're getting on the Delta Riverboat. <laughs> Come on, Wesley. It's the Delta Riverboat. Yes. <laughs> She knew I was going to be her boat captain. <laughs> she knew that meant you might be kidnapped on the water. And uh -oh. So if you didn't go on the bathroom break, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys see this beautiful, beautiful bonsai tree right here on the podium to my left? Oh, yeah. Guess what? You had a birthday. Oh. Yeah, really, you had a birthday. I don't know about you, but I think all of us had a birthday or are going to have a birthday. Oh, right. Yes, he did have a birthday uh, once. That being said, it's 123 years young. Whoa. I am 57 today. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Woo. And looking gorgeous and fabulous. Right? Gorgeous and fabulous. Now, as we cruise along this Delta River, you guys, if you look over to my right, we're going to see these beautiful, beautiful trumpet plants. This is an angelic trumpet plant. How much of honeysuckles, right? Mm -hmm. And trust me, no one does not want to come to my boat. <laughs> we are the largest non-gaming convention center now in the United States. Mm -hmm. It's made out of wrought iron. It weighs over 3,000 pounds. 250 at white bugs. We do have to lower it down by a hard wire just so we can keep it clean for you guys. 
if you would have stayed in the hotel or visited the hotel before 1996 when we built this section and looked at one of those gorgeous rooms, you would have the most magnificent, most amazing, most magnificent view of the parking lot. <laughs> so yes, you're doing this cruise down the parking lot, you guys. That is 15 stories high, you guys. And yes, we have our beautiful old glory up there, flowing down at all of us. We're now nine and a half acres of fun. I'm loving these special expressions. These gardens are amazing. There are plants from all 50 states here. They also got plants from a lot of different countries. And there's only 10 gardeners that take care of this place. The hotel is massive and a little overwhelming. Over 2,000 rooms, 15 restaurants, and they rebuilt these gardens after the devastating flood of 2010. The hotel was built in 1977. We built the atrium in 1996. We're sending out all those Jack Daniel bottles for all those water chapels. I mean, why whiskey? You, you could have done just so many other things, but you chose the... He's not feeling talking today. We go to the Magnolia Lobby and take a left and go down to the thing and then we go across the other thing and then we'll see it. Okay. What is it? It's the glass thing. The glass thing. Okay, yeah. we're on our way. Before we go over the Skyway, we're going to have a birthday gelato. And I'm getting banana pudding. This is awesome. We're looking down on the Garden Conservatory. Beautiful. Banana pudding gelato achieved. The only thing this place is missing is a train. Wow, wow, wow. And I almost think they had like a little, like a little stage built up over the water where they were standing. Like there was some way where they had them inside of there. New weddings here. It was amazing. This place just goes on and on and on. We're still indoors, people. We are still indoors. Did we find it? Did we find the glass thing? Lady, oh yeah, ladybugs. You have a ladybug on your... For my mommy. A tattoo. Wow, that's cool. So guys, we did everything that TripAdvisor tells you to do when you come to the Opryland Hotel. Right. Everything here almost is free. You can walk the botanical gardens. Yes. See the beautiful lobbies. Yes. Look out at all the beautiful stuff. We did pay for our food. Yes. That wasn't free. Yeah. But it was good. But it was it very was good. Fun. We took the boat ride. That wasn't free. It was fun. But it was, it was fun. fun. And it wasn't too much. And it was an international... Uh, international water. International water. water. That's right. We did everything that TripAdvisor tells you to do at the Opryland Hotel. And we didn't even know. Yeah. We didn't even know that. So, that's us showing you the Opryland Hotel. And, uh... Show the cats. <laughs>